Okay, so I am in PowerPoint right now, and I'm going to show you how to create one this setup, this template for a weekly schedule. And we're going to do that right in PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how you could design it two different ways, just so that you could see um, different design aspects, one using just color and another pulling in different design elements that we can use um, to jazz up our regular printables. It's always a good idea, or it's always fun to change things up with um, different clip arts or images that you can find on the stock photo sites. Okay, right, so jumping right in, I'm just going to create a new slide and I'm going to show you how to start this from scratch. I'm going to remove the empty text boxes and put in our title. I'm going to decrease our text size. We're going to center this and change this to the font that we'd like to use. And then I'm going to make this the width of the whole page because I want it to be perfectly centered in the middle. And we can change that to more of a gray rather than the, that. Actually, it doesn't matter. Um, so um, I always have my grid lines and my grids turn on so I can uh, ensure that my boxes are positioned correctly when I'm placing my um, text, my boxes for anything that I'm designing. I want them to be centered properly on either side. I'm going to just go to my shapes panel and create a rectangle. I'm just going to eyeball this and because I'm going to need five of these. I don't want a fill color, so I'm going to cl click no fill. Uh, for shape outline, I want to change the weight to something a little bit heavier. And for now, we'll just keep that as a gray. So I'm going to click on this, and I need more four more of these boxes. So I'm going to hit Control c and then Control v four times. I'm going to bring this down, and I just want it... I'm only concerned about the placement of the bottom shape and the top because everything will align in, in between. So I have this one selected. I'm going to hit shift and click on everything else so that all the boxes are selected at the same time. I'm going to go to arrange, align, center, arrange, align, distribute vertically. Okay, and then... I'm just going to move that in. So I'm happy with the sizing and the spacing in between the boxes. Because I'm happy, I'm going to hit group and then group again. So I can move this in with the cursor. I'm going to hit control V to get another box. Oops. <clears throat> because I want this side to be exact width as this side as well but it's going to be taller because I only need three. So I'm going to control C, control V twice. Let's see if that works. So the shape, the size spacing between the two is just too big. So I'm going to increase that and do the same thing. Control C and then control V. And I bet you I'm too big. Oh goodness. <laughs> Of course, this is what happens with live video. Okay, I'm hoping for third time is a charm. Okay, and with the arrows there, the red arrows, you can see that they're equally spaced between the two and that's already lined up and I'm happy with that. That works for me. <clears throat> so I'm gonna add in the text. I'm gonna insert text box. Just make a text anywhere, it doesn't matter put in my text. I'm going to center that and get it to the sizing and font that I want and change the color. I want it to be sized and formatted to how I'd like because I'm going to copy and paste this again to the other boxes. And once you make a change to one, you're going to have to do it again to all the boxes. So as their individual text boxes, so we don't want to have to do that for everything. So I'm going to hit Control C, Control V. And I'm not worried about aligning these ones in the middle, but I do want the top and the bottom ones to be aligned correctly. 
because they're going to be spaced out from the top and the bottom. So arrange, align, center, arrange, align, distribute vertically. And then you can see it's correctly um, aligned to the box from the top to the bottom. I'm happy with that. I'm going to group it and I use my cursor to push it in. I'm going to hit Control V to get another text box and bring it to the other side. I'm going to click and rotate. And then Control C, Control V twice to get the other ones. Okay, I'm going to click on all three again, arrange, align, center, arrange, align, distribute vertically, and that will fix the spacing. I'm going to group them together and move them in. And you can still um, change the text for this. And unfortunately, my dog is going a little bit crazy right now. And something that he heard outside or whatever is that dogs like to bark at. So I'm going to change my text quickly. Okay. So I have recreated our template. And at this point, I would save my work and save this as a different file. I want to be able to have these templates that I can use to change up. You can change this up in so many different ways by color, by adding design elements. So I like to create just basic templates that I can use to build off of. So I'm going to show you how I would jazz this up using color. I'm going to pull in a color swatch that I have pulled off of Pinterest, bright and colorful. And I'm not, I don't have to think about what color to use, to use if I can find something um, that's already set up for me. So I can go into color. I'm going to change my font color first. Using the eyedropper, I'm going to choose this color. And you can go into each individual box here, shape outline, eyedropper, and click on the different colors. And you have to repeat this for each color. And make sure you have selected the individual box or else all the colors will change different. Okay, so I've selected all my colors that I'll be using for this palette and then they get saved here as you can see under recent colors and then you can just repeat those without having to use the eyedropper tool. Okay, and there you have it. Here is a simple weekly schedule that we created in like minutes. And, but I can show you how I would use this template and create something completely different. So let's pull in a different design element. And I pull in a banner. I'm gonna, so if I place this over here, you can see that my banner will be on top of that. I don't want to send it to the back because I don't want it to be behind these rectangles. So instead, I'm going to have, click on this text and bring it to the front. Okay, and it's quite large, so I'm just going to shrink this down, and it's too low, and shrink that down as well. Then I can um, change my font, so my font color to white, to a different font, and shrink that down. And I can use my cursor arrows to position that. Oops. Where I'd like. Um, let's pull in our flowers. And some green here. I'm gonna hit control C and control V. And as you can see, the vines there are on top of my flower, and I don't want that. I want the flower in the front, so I'm right click and bring to the front. And I'm just going to move this down. It's not touching my text. Okay, I'm going to add another flower to the banner here on top. Actually, not that one, because you can see through it. I want to add 
something else. Okay, so I'm just gonna pos position this here. It's, oops, wrong one. My kids are watching TV, so I don't know how loud that is. <laughs> and I hope it's not too distracting. Okay. And again, I'm going to send my flower to the front. Okay, hey, so right now I want to change the color of my boxes and I'm not going to go outside and choose a different color palette. I'm going to choose one of the colors that's already incorporated into my printable. So by using the eyedropper, I'm going to choose one of these pink and then using my eyedropper again, I'm going to pull one of the green here. Okay, and then I can just alternate that. And there are the two recent colors that are on there, so I don't have to use the eyedropper again, which makes it really fast to change colors. And it was super fast to um, just add in the design elements because we had already had that set up. And you can see that just by adding, a, making font changes and changing colors, you can really change the style of the printable in like a matter of seconds. And just because I want to, I'm going to change my font on there as well, just to change things up. And again, you can see how a pain it would be if you were going to change something one time, change it again, and make all, so you just want to do it once and have it set. So you don't have to keep changing all the other boxes. And there you have it. So we, from this, we've gone and we created a simple, colorful weekly schedule. And then we jazzed our weekly schedule up with some different design elements and some font changes to complete, give it a completely different look. Um, so you can just imagine like all the different styles that you could come up with that would um, allow you to use a basic template to make your work go faster, but you could also change things up into different styles and comp create completely new different products using the same template. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you want the lowdown on how to go from this printable and to how to get it delivered to your readers, how to get it on your site and the technical aspects of delivering through your um, email service provider. I do have a course. It's called Five Weeks to Jewel Worthy Email Opt-ins for Bloggers. And I just want you to check it out and see if it's something that would help you. It takes the guesswork out of creating email opt-ins. And we go into creating um, wall art and calendars and um, kids activities, if that's your niche. It's my niche, so I figured why not. And I hope you take a look.